everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to be cooking and I'm gonna be making white bean stew with riblets, which in Portuguese we call it muito feijão branco com cristalas. This is a dish that I grew up having uh, in a Portuguese household. We had a lot of stews, but this was one of my favorites and I continue to make it today and my kids love it. They like the dipping of the uh, bread into the broth of the stew. It's so delicious and I really hope you stay with me to watch how to make it step by step. I just wanna show you the ingredients you'll need. Here I have garlic powder, ground white pepper, cubed potatoes, diced onion, some pork riblets, some paprika, salt, tomato sauce, vegetable oil, pepper sauce, some cubed carrots, and of course, the beans. I'm using white pea beans. You might also know them as navy beans, but I'm using three cans of 540 milliliters. But as we go along, I will list the quantity of the ingredients that you'll need. Now, another two options you can use for ingredients in this recipe is cabbage and Portuguese chorizo. Let's get started with the pork riblets. Here I have about two pounds of pork riblets cut in little small pieces and you can see that they're very in size and they're smaller so we're going to start by seasoning them. I'm going to start with about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of salt. I want to make sure that the riblets are completely seasoned because we're going to give this a quick boil. So I'm going to season the riblets just as I'm doing here. The seasoning will be up to your preference, but you want to make sure that these riblets are really salted before you give it a quick boil. Okay, so let's get on to the stove. Here I have some boiling water in a medium-sized saucepan, and I'm going to place the riblets right in there. Now I'm not going to season the water because I've seasoned the riblets. Now once the riblets are in the water, I'm going to let it boil for about 10 to 12 minutes. The riblets have been cooking for about 12 minutes. I'm going to turn off the heat and at this point I'm going to remove the riblets and place them into a separate bowl that I have aside there. So I'm just going to drain the water, place them into the bowl. Once I have all the riblets removed from the pot, I'm ready for the next step. Now here I have a large saucepan. I'm going to start off with the ingredients for the stew. Here I have half a cup of vegetable oil. And to that I'm going to add half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I've turned the stove on to a low heat as I'm placing the ingredients. And to that I'm adding half a teaspoon of ground white pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, that's going to give it some color and great flavor. And to that, I'm going to add one large onion that I've diced. If you don't have large onions, just two small onions is fine. So you're going to place that into the saucepan. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of pepper sauce. And this is a homemade pepper sauce. In Portuguese, we call it pimenta muita. Next, I'm going to stir it together and have the onions soften. So I'm going to mix it for about a minute before I add the next ingredients. Now once the onions are softened at this point I'm going to add one cup of tomato sauce. This is a homemade tomato sauce but you can also use store-bought or canned tomato sauce. And at this point I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt for seasoning. And next I'm going to add eight cups of water. And once you've added your water, you want to stir it to combine all the ingredients with the water and let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, place the riblets into the saucepan, give it a quick stir and let it come to a boil once again. Now once it's come to a boil, you're ready to add one carrot that's chopped into small pieces and place it into the saucepan. Now at the same time, I'm going to add two large potatoes that I've chopped into small cubes. 
Now at this point, you want to stir it to combine. And I'm going to let the potatoes and carrots cook throughout, at which point I'm ready to do the taste test for the seasoning and to ensure that the potatoes are cooked thoroughly. So let's do the taste test. The potatoes are cooked and the seasoning is perfect. And next, for the final ingredient, I'm going to add the white pea beans. Three cans at 540 milliliters each. Now once you add the beans, you'll see that it will thicken the sauce and change the color of the sauce as well. And you just want to give that a quick stir and let it come to a boil. And once it does, you're going to turn off your heat and your stew is ready. Now once I added the beans, after five minutes, it's come to a boil, the sauce is thickened, the stew is ready, and the meat is falling off the bone. At this point, turn off your heat. It's ready. Dinner is served. White bean stew with riblets. And it smells so good. Here's a beautiful plate of Muitfejang Kunkstalish, but there's nothing like dipping a little bit of bread into the broth. I did this when I was growing up. My kids do it now, and I have to do this. It's so delicious. Let's do this. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. Absolutely must try. And that was my recipe for Muit Fijan Branc Kunkstalish which is a white bean stew with riblets. Now for this recipe, I did use a smaller white bean, which is a pea bean, but you can also use white kidney beans, which are larger beans, black eye pea beans, do it yourself. Anything you'd like to add as far as the beans, go ahead. Uh, it really doesn't matter uh, what bean you use. We specifically here at home like the smaller bean for the stew. I hope you all enjoy the recipe today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care.